five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. With... You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. Huge uppercut misses. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Big punches. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Slips the punch nicely there. High kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, nice punch there by George St. Pierre. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Just misses with the jab. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it, so let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustment. Oh! He is getting off some huge punches here. Tries some serious power in that kick, but misses. Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Flush. Oh! Oh! He's very wobbly, he's trying to hang on. How about that shin? And they separate. Effective punch there by George St. Pierre. God, look at that takedown, man. Big Huge elbow, there, elbow to the head. To do that to such a durable guy and to do it with such composure, the way he recognized he had him hurt, relaxed, kept his rhythm, and just dropped bombs, and then boom. How about the ground and pound to finish the fight, Joe? That is as good an offensive execution as we have seen on the ground in recent memory. One big shot after the next. He wasn't just trying to score or buy time before the referee stood them up. He was trying to pound his opponent out of there, and that is exactly what he did. You wonder if some fighters will watch this footage and learn from that high-level offensive execution when it comes to the ground and pound. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, George Rush St. Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and 